Have you ever wondered if there could be a definitive cure for HIV? For decades, this relentless virus has thrown down the gauntlet to scientists worldwide. Its cunning ability to integrate into the host's DNA, making it a formidable opponent. But what if we were on the brink of a breakthrough? Let us introduce you to a game changer in genetic engineering, CRISPR-Cas9. This revolutionary tool is making waves in the scientific community and holds promise for transforming the way we tackle diseases like HIV. CRISPR-Cas9 is a two-part system, with CRISPR standing for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, and Cas9 being the name of the protein that does the actual cutting. This system is borrowed from bacteria, which use it as a kind of immune system to fight off viruses. Here's how it works. CRISPR sequences are essentially the guide that leads the Cas9 protein to the right spot in the DNA. Once the Cas9 protein is at the right location, it acts like a pair of molecular scissors, cutting the DNA at that specific spot. This break in the DNA strand prompts the cell to repair the damage. Scientists can use this repair process to either remove unwanted genes or insert new ones. The implications of this technology are vast. It has the potential to correct genetic disorders, treat cancer, and even produce biofuel. But one of its most exciting applications is in the realm of infectious diseases, specifically HIV. HIV is notoriously hard to cure because it integrates its own genetic material into the host's DNA. This makes it nearly impossible to eliminate the virus completely with current treatments. But with CRISPR-Cas9, we could potentially cut the HIV DNA out of the host cells, effectively curing the individual of the virus. There are, of course, hurdles to overcome. The process needs to be precise to avoid unintended consequences, and the delivery of this system to all infected cells is a challenge. But scientists are optimistic and are working tirelessly to perfect this technology. Imagine the possibilities if we could use this technology to cut out the HIV virus from our DNA. This could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for, a beacon of hope in our fight against this devastating disease. A scientist from the Netherlands have been doing precisely that. They've been pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible, using the power of CRISPR-Cas9 to wage war on HIV. This team of researchers, working tirelessly, have taken a bold approach to a seemingly insurmountable problem. They've turned their attention to the HIV genome itself, specifically looking at the conserved regions. These are the parts of the genome that remain consistent, no matter the strain of HIV. This consistency is a weakness, a chink in the virus's genetic armor, and it's here that our team saw their opportunity. Using CRISPR-Cas9, they designed RNA molecules to guide the molecular scissors to these conserved regions. With a precise snip, they were able to cut out these sections of the HIV DNA, but they didn't stop there. The researchers then used the same technology to delete these unwanted genes from the host's DNA. This wasn't just a one-off experiment. They didn't just do this once and call it a day. No, they did it repeatedly in the lab with HIV-infected T-cells. They demonstrated that it is possible to eliminate HIV DNA from these cells. But what does this mean? Is this the cure we've all been hoping for? It's an exciting development, no doubt. The team's work represents a crucial proof of concept, showing that CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to target and inactivate HIV in a lab setting. However, it's important to remember that this is only the first step. There are still hurdles to overcome, like figuring out how to deliver this treatment to the HIV reservoir cells in the body and ensuring the safety and efficacy of this approach. Even so, this research represents a ray of hope in the battle against HIV. It's a shining example of the potential of gene editing technology in the fight against diseases that have long been considered unbeatable, this could be the first step towards a potential cure. However, every breakthrough has its own set of challenges, and this one is no exception. As we look ahead, there are several obstacles that need to be navigated for this promising approach to become a practical cure for HIV AIDS. Firstly, we need to address the issue of delivery. 
the CRISPR-Cas9 components need to be transported into HIV-infected cells in the body. This is easier said than done. HIV has a knack for hiding in reservoir cells, deep within body tissues. These cells are often inaccessible, making it challenging to reach them with therapeutic agents. Finding an effective delivery system that can target these reservoir cells is a crucial step forward. The second hurdle is ensuring the safety and efficacy of the approach. While the CRISPR-Cas9 technology has proven its worth in the lab, transferring its success to the human body is another story. It's like comparing a controlled laboratory experiment to the chaotic world of a living organism. The human body is complex and its reactions to new treatments can be unpredictable. Any alterations made to the genome need to be precise and accurate to avoid unintended consequences. Moreover, the diversity of HIV strains presents another layer of complexity. The CRISPR-Cas9 strategy needs to be robust enough to target and inactivate a wide range of HIV strains across various cell types and tissues. This requires extensive research and testing, adding to the time and the resources needed to develop this cure. And lastly, we need to consider the ethical implications of gene editing. While it holds immense potential, it also raises questions about the boundaries of science. As we tread this new path, it's crucial that we do so with caution, respect, and a deep understanding of the implications of our actions. These challenges, although significant, are not insurmountable. The journey to a cure for HIV has just become a bit more promising. The road ahead may be long and winding, but with every step forward, we inch closer to a world where HIV is no longer a life sentence. It's important to remember that while these findings are encouraging, we are still in the early stages of this research. This promising new approach towards a potential cure for HIV AIDS using CRISPR-Cas9 technology is not without its challenges. Perfecting the delivery system to target HIV reservoir cells, ensuring the safety and efficacy of the method and carrying out further optimization are all crucial steps on this scientific journey. But let's not forget, every great discovery started with a single step. Preclinical studies and clinical trials are the next big hurdles in this quest. The road ahead may be long and winding, but every step brings us closer to our destination. But one thing is certain, the future of HIV research looks brighter than ever before.